Oh yeah, look at that, sunny 75. What's up guys, how's it going? Mark from 408, as you can see, the sun is out, sun is shining, it's warm on my skin, it feels great. Yeah, if uh, you know, the sun's shining where you guys are right now, get outside and enjoy it, because you never know, right? So anyways, I think it was minus 16 this morning, I think it's around minus nine, 10 right now, and uh, yeah, I've been out and about every day, but uh, some people are complaining. You know, the, the the wind chill. Oh, it's minus 35 wind chill. It's like, guys, we live in Canada. We have our whole lives, you know. Figure it out. Throw a few extra layers on and enjoy it. It's freaking it's Canada. It's winter. What do you expect? Like, we go up to freaking Edmonton right now. It's like minus 45 without the wind chill. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, it's minus 10. I just got a vest on right now, so... Um, finally, I have someone to come pick up the cars. So he came and picked up the Durango last night, and then we're getting rid of four more cars today. So I'm going to start this video with a little cold start. The skid steer in the tractor. Obviously, I'm not taking the skid steer anywhere. The track's still off of it. But I'm going to take the tractor down to help him. So uh, skid steer's in the shop and tractor's in the barn, both not heated. So... Let's see if they start and see where we can uh, see where we can go. I mean, the platinum started this morning. That's 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 usually good. The old eco boost. I think we need a power boost though. The old hybrid, right? You're just a work truck. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can do. The hey, old skid steer. This thing has groomed my track many a times, but as you can see, the track has given up on it. So. It's on the list to order tracks. I don't know who's in charge of it. I'm not, but I'm hoping we can get some soon because uh, it's good for grooming and it's good for clearing snow off the driveway. As you can see, our target didn't last too long. We had it out the other day. She got blown apart again. So Jay welded these two plates together. And as you can see, that's insane. Like that's pretty thick. And just look at the bubbles on the back of it. And this one actually got blown right through. Some good dingers. This is supposed to be bulletproof, and that one right through. And yeah, we had all these welded up. They all got blown apart. I think because they got shot right on the weld, so it ripped it apart pretty quick. I'm thinking we should just weld all these together. All to one. Yeah, that's pretty insane. But anyways... Let's fire this thing up. I don't even know where the key is. Figure that out. Just kidding. Battery's completely dead. <laughs> Let's go to the barn and fire up the tractor. I've had it on the charger two days now. Plus, I think my brother plugged it in this morning, so let's do it. This is how chilly she is. The dentist told me to keep Listerine in my truck, so I did, and it's all slush. Does that mean the pure part's like all alcohol? Hmm, interesting. No problem, that block heater really helped. Oh yeah, good thing you plugged her in. quite handy for pushing snow and moving cars or destroying cars or you know whatever whatever you're into that day right absolutely beautiful today though got to be enjoying this oh yeah we got the cloud chases Whew, she is pretty warm and cozy in here i love pushing snow it's fun Just driving around in circles rocking out Oh, all right, Jay's on his way. It's Hill's birthday. He was supposed to come, but he said he wasn't feeling good. I must have beat him up too much yesterday. So Jay's on his way. I don't really have a plan. I'm kind of winging it like I always do, but uh, the scrap car guy's on his way too. So we'll bring the tractor down, 
Load some cars real quick. I'm hoping to paint that uh, wheelie ramp with Jay today. It'd be nice to start doing some wheelies, but we gotta get her painted so it doesn't rust. But uh, yeah, we'll get it after that. Load some cars, go for a little rip, dip, and then, uh, I don't know, see what time it is. One o'clock right now, so maybe, uh, maybe do some uh, ATV versus quad later. I don't know, we'll see if there's time. Oh, itchy eye. Hope everyone likes my new vest. Never had a fuzzy vest like this, but it's very warm, so. Yep, here we go. Jay should be here soon. Let's get this thing painted and get these cars loaded. Jay just arrived. I can, out hear, <laughs> I can hear him doing donuts outside. I'm in here trying not to drop this damn ramp on myself. This thing is so heavy. Took me everything I had to squat it and lift it up straight. So I was putting this piece of plywood down so I could paint it and not get paint everywhere. Even though there is paint everywhere. Yeah, well. Jay! What are you doing out there, donuts? I'm waiting for you. I got stuck over there. Oh, frick. I'm standing here holding this thing waiting for it to crash on me. Uh -huh. Yeah. What's going on? I need you to position that so we can drop this. There's one. This? Yeah, just lift it up a little. Move this? Just lift it up that way. This thing is freaking heavy. Lift her up and move it that way. Like... Lift it, nope, bring it back. Bring basically the width of the, yeah, the blade, and then lift it up towards your face. Yeah, okay, now we'll lay this thing down. I don't know how, probably gonna drop it on myself. Paint away. I think this is black. Last time I bought black, it ended up being brown. Look at us, eh? A couple of pro painters. Yeah. We got this part coded. Had to get this on Amazon, because freaking everything is curbside pickup right now. It's so stupid. Amazon's just way easier and it's cheaper. Oh yeah, you ready to do some wheelies, Jay? Oh, can't wait. You excited for your new uh, launch control? Yeah. Clutch kit. Clutch kit. And belt. High engagement spring. Ooh. Belt. You're gonna have one of the first launch controls on a Polaris. But I've never seen around here anyway. <laughs> if anyone wants to know what a launch control is, basically what it, what the name is, but. Also helps when you want to make a backfire like mine. That's why. That's some how pop, I make pop. some pop, 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 pop. All right. Let's go. Yeah, eh? Freaking old pros. Good Jay doing some donuts. <laughs> the old Chevy Diesel. Just out today. Now Jay you can open the gate a little further. Ah, I can squeeze. Oh, yeah. Just a C here on each side. Look at that. Isn't that just so beautiful? Crisp day. Let's grab some gears here. Now maybe later we'll get out uh, the Jeep, go for a little rip. How sick would it be to hit one of these little doubles? I bet the Jimmy would do it. Who's got the balls to do it though? That's the real question. Oh yeah, look at those doubles. Can't wait to smack those with a dirt bike. We tore it up a little bit here yesterday. That uh, beast, eh? The one and only Diesel. Should we tell everyone what you bought or should we wait and just surprise them? We can wait. When's it coming? Uh, June. June. <laughs> what a June. joke, eh? I know. When did you order it? Christmas. <laughs> oh, man. It takes forever to build, I guess. I That's know. wild. I talked to Ford. They still said eight to ten weeks. And then when we were at Chrysler there, they said they were ordering Jeeps in October. And they're just arriving now. I'll wait. <laughs> 
I'll run this yeah. one to the winner. Yeah, might as well. They're all rusty. And then we'll see what we got. That's the perks of living in Canada. They put a lot of salt and what's that liquid they put on the Uh Beets. Beets juice. Beets juice? Yeah. And apparently Calcium. it just Calcium. It just rots the underside of your vehicle. So that's why vehicles end up out here getting destroyed. Because it does not make sense to pump thousands of dollars in them to get them safetyed and then road legal for one more year. It's just cheaper to buy a newer one. So we have had some fun with the pile. As you can see, the Dodge Durango is gone. It had the studded tires on it. Unfortunately, they got shot up one day, so we didn't keep them. The Mitsubishi Montero. Jay ripped the steering right off it. That was a good baby. Luckily, she still jumped. We jumped that with it. And then as you can see, it rolled 20 times trying to get it out of the, uh, out of the trees over there. The Sierra and Blazer and Jeep. We've had too much fun with them, except we knocked the four by out of that one. This one we just had a little race with and it's kind of a piece of crap, but it was convertible. So that was cool. The Nissan, we had it down at, down by Blenheim for that circle track race and the rear tire fell off it. I was doing pretty good at snow tires, but the guy bought from lowered it. So as I was coming around the corner every time, it was really bouncing hard and she eventually just ripped everything off there. Ford Escape, ripped the roof off and we jumped it. That was some fun times. He's here, let's get rid of some vehicles. And then as you guys remember the big box van, it jumped, cleared that. I'm gonna keep it though until spring, till it warms up and hopefully we can grenade the diesel engine in it. I'll let those tires spin. Classic Ford, lock those hubs. Whew. Oh yeah, and the old Saturn. It jumped. This is a good time. Oh, we got two trucks. Perfect. Let's load some stuff up. Time to clean these things. I, I've been saying this since the fall, but it's time to it's time to clean up here and get some more vehicles. If you guys have any vehicles of your own that you want to bring down and rip around, let me know. I'm always down to crash cars with you guys if you want to be featured in a video. Just let me know. Shoot me an email is the best way. And uh, yeah. All right, let's load them up. Just getting rid of some cars here. Clean up day today. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but should be interesting. There he is. Mark working, finally working, doing something. <laughs> There you go, that'll work. It's not easy when the cars are completely demolished. Not sure what's going on here, but... Looks like these guys have done it a few times, so they should figure it out. I'll let you know though, my hands are freezing. Oh yeah, that'll work. Just to get centered on here, I don't know. Ah, just to get it centered up on the trailer. Ah, get the winch going. Wow, it's cold. She's coming. Little by little. Rear tires are just locked up. I need a push. 
Not sure what he's doing over here. Oh, there goes that bumper. That was kind of pointless, but. Good day though. Trying to get them all lined up. Easy on the paint. Oh, we didn't need that bumper. going on there truck number two poor cavalier We've seen better days. This one's in bad shape. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say we should pick up all the junk over there, throw them in there. Look at that coat. on the outside. I was zooming in on your coat. Look at that. Oh. Outside fur. Yeah. It's actually very warm. Those I've never been a vest guy, but uh, I do really like it. I had this and the park on the other day when we were doing shooting. I didn't film it, but uh, it was like minus 15, minus 30 with a wind chill. And I was soaked and sweat. I had to take this off. It's They're nice. But uh, yeah, I like it. I might be a vest guy just because of Yellowstone. I've been watching a lot ah. of Yellowstone lately. All the cowboys are wearing vests, so like, you know what? I didn't even car just said this to me. I'm like, oh, good tryer. No, kinda, I'm you, no, I'm not taking it off. You kind of look like a cowboy now. Yeah. Hey? Where's my cowboy hat? There we go. We're maxed out for height here. Might have to readjust the chains, maybe. Uh, not gonna happen, probably. Should be good. Should be close. Well, that didn't work. Well, that plan didn't work. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just pull the windshield right off. What if we go from the steering wheel? I guess that's where he went to. Keep pulling. Yeah, that should work. Now, work. Oh yeah. Unless you pull the wheels right off. But... Pretty close over there.
Perfect. Nice. That worked good. These guys doing some cleanup down here. Not sure how this thing's gonna get out of here, but probably gonna be there until springtime. The front's gonna fall off on this side, probably. might make his way over yeah come this way a little bit there it is well I guess we're gonna say bye to two cars now they served us very good one the Montero love that thing Couple more to go. And that right there is why I don't use my own trailer. <laughs> exactly. Well, especially an aluminum trailer, that thing folds like butter. It's meant for pulling side by side around. Right? You need some steel trailers like these things. Yeah, just buy an old beat up one. Yep. I mean, I know a welder, we can always fix them up. You need a steel trailer with, with um, bars all along the side. So as soon as it's up, it just Hits there's those, the old bumpers, and it just slides right off. Guides right in. Yeah, or else, you know, it hits the fender. Yeah. There's shrapnel everywhere. Right, right on. We got two o'clock. Let's go run out. We'll throw another coat of paint on, and then uh, we'll see where we're at. See what other <laughs> shenanigans we get into. I was backing up the hill. I thought I was going to roll. I, like, oh. I thought you were going mud in there for a minute. Yeah, and then I backed out there. I forgot how deep I dug it. Feels weird when you're up that high. Feels like you're going to flip. Definitely need a tractor, though. That oh, thing's yeah. handy. The tractor is key to the stitch. Right yeah. on, right on. Let's roll. Okay. Here. You sure you don't want to keep this thing, Jake? No, no, no. You know what? The diesel's not for me. Ugh. It comes with two baby seats if anyone wants it. The problem is I live like five minutes from work, six minutes from work, and it doesn't warm up enough. It's, it's, just, it's not good for me. It's oh, going yeah. back to a gas. I used to have an F-350 and... I drove to Metro every day for school. Yeah. Like I 25 over. minutes, and by the time I got there, it was just warming up. Like we pull what? Two side sides with one trailer twice a year. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't need For this. the extra gas and all the hassle the with the def fluid. fluid. Which so is going to fill up over here. Yeah, this one you have to put it, all the def fluid under the hood, which yeah. is annoying. So I need a two step because I'm short. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no magic gas. Yeah, well, can't always win, right? What? What am I buying? I'm not, I'm not sure yet. Am I sticking with GM? Am I going with the Ford? I don't know. <laughs> Fajord. Go with the Fajord. <laughs> Maybe a Dodge. That's yeah, real Dodge. Yeah, yeah, right? No one wants a Dodge. Let's be serious. They basically give those trucks away anyway. Uh, all right, let's do a little more painting. Or hit the snowmobile trail. Yeah, we could. Yeah, let's do that. Lots of trucks. <laughs> yeah, everyone's out last week. All right. We sniffed enough paint painting that ramp. Just gonna grab the ownerships for those cars. Oh, my cat guy. Then we'll grab some keys. We'll go rip that Jeep. Do a big old burnout. Should I do a burnout with this one? <laughs> the old grabbing gloves. Like Grab and go. She's like a cleaner down here already. It's nice. Yeah, so Four, three. Three, three going yeah. Durango, Mitsubishi, and Sun Sunfire. Cavalier. 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 Convertible. Sunfire. Now that I think about it, we should have taken that Cavalier through the car wash with the roof down before we destroyed it. There you go. The ship's long sail. <laughs> yeah. That boat is gone. So. Oh, yeah. Zan took the battery out of this. So we're going to have to leave the NOCO hmm. on it. On. Yes. So we're going to take this Jeep out. We're going to do the biggest, dirtiest burnout on dirt. On dirt. One patch right there. Yeah, there you go. Just put it right up against the GMC, let her fly. I don't know how this muffler still hasn't fallen off. Like I completely bent the frame jumping this and the muffler is still on there. And it's backwards, which is the best part. GM. GM, yeah. And there's bull holes in it now. And it still runs. 
I don't know how that bullet hole is right there, but it didn't go through the tire. Maybe it bounced off. Thank the Lord. All right, I think this thing's gonna start. Trusty Noko. This thing's hilarious. It sounds supercharged. <laughs> oh, you mean it's not? I thought it was. Oh, well, there's a grill if you need it. So, oh yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Hang that up in my garage. Where's the, uh, I guess there's no bar, eh? I'll hold her for you. Okay. That's gonna be our battery today. The old trusty and new co. Let's go this way. Yeah, flop her in there. So black on black? Black on black. I was wondering that. If you took two car batteries and you went black on red, red on black, what would happen? You might just have to figure that out. Like, I feel like the cables will melt, but like, will the battery blow up? Because I got batteries coming out my yin yang. Well, we need to figure something out. And I got three booster cables, three sets. So if I blow one up, I don't really care. So power? All right, I guess I'll charge up some batteries and we'll uh, try it. Press it once. Oh, sometimes you gotta take the cords off before you start oh, it. Just one. There you go. Now hold down the red button. What does this do? Just bypasses? It just bypasses all the safety. And your full power? It puts her in fun mode. Screw everything. Maybe right. just plop that down on the battery spot. The old PowerTech 4.7 V8 high output wiener schnitzel. <laughs> Caution fan. Can we check the oil or no? Yeah, that's good. Where's the keys? In my pocket somewhere. My fancy vest. Hold on. Yep, there you go. There you go. Try not to catch crabs you while, while you're out there with yeah. those gloves. Take those. Put my gloves when you eat the crab. Right? I love those gloves. Jay let me use them up north when we were uh, fall riding. Amazing. <laughs> Turbo diesel. Oh, look at the coal rolling. Keep her going, Jay. <laughs> sounds like the muffler's kind of hollowed out. Like, it sounds good. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see anything. All right. Work? Yeah, so watch your truck and the tractor. Oh, I gotta clean this up. I need to see anything. That's still fun. That's still fun. Wipers don't work. Good thing you got crabbing gloves. Yeah. Oh, more sledders. They're always out and about. The All right, Jay. The old ski do. Try and make it four feet up this hill. Flare and drive, flare and fly. I think she's got half a tank in her, so might as well burn it out. Just frozen to the ground. Might be doing the burnout right here. <laughs> hey, do the burnout right here. Keep going. Okay. I wish we never took the four wheel drive out of this thing. Like, yep. Oh, so it's not four wheel drive? We're one wheel driving it right now. Well, what's going on? I'm with thinking you? I'll start this thing, give you a little push, get you, uh, get you moving, you know? Yeah. So, what, where am I stuck on? Just the front? I think, yeah, the front's just kind of frozen down. Let's see if we can get in here. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Alright, no one living in here. It's actually really nice in there. 
And of course this thing's dead. All right, pop it. Where's the thing? There it is. Oh. oh, don't even need me. Why'd you stop? Uh-oh, you might have jammed, wedged yourself in there. <laughs> Digging holes, make them goop. Still my keys back. I think, so I need a boost on that one. And then you can have the no-co back, but I think we should get both going. And I'll just kind of follow you around. Every time you get stuck, I'll just push the you. one-wheel drive does not work that No. Well, right. put your foot on the brake for a sec. Okay. Put your foot on the brake. Yeah, you're ripping cords. You grooved out that tire pretty good. Hey, well, show me your hand. Show me your hand. <laughs> Yo. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, it probably wasn't you that grooved it. Probably the last 10 times we did this, but. All right, uh, yeah, I need the no-co. Give me the no-co! Okay, okay, Quit okay. smelling your fingers. Smells like crab. <laughs> Smells like fish! Crab! It's cold, very cold. All right, what's it gonna do? Oh, hey! Wow, the actually works. Jeeps don't need batteries, apparently. Maybe I'll get a Jeep. You know what? Be a Jeep, be a Jeep guy. Be a family, family vehicle. All right, drop it like it's hot. Just don't stall it. No, we can't open it. <laughs> yeah. All right, I will get this thing going and we'll be ripping the nuts off everything. All right. Wiggle and jiggle it. Nada. You got red on red, black on black? Did you jiggle it or just wiggle it? Jiggle, wiggle. Ah, jiggle, wiggle. That's red. That's red. Oh. Come on, girl. Come on. She wants it. She's probably out of gas again. <laughs> Get it! Gets it! Come on! Ah! <laughs> I feel like it's out of gas. I don't think she's gonna go. I don't think today's Blazers day. All right, guess not. We have a severely flat tire as well, so I don't know. You know what? Just, just use my truck. Just, just push, just push you truck. around? That's fine. I'm trading in anyway. I was gonna say I could use a GMC, but I didn't bring the keys down for it. All right, well, I guess you just gotta rock yourself out. <laughs> figure it out, Jay. All right, I'll figure it out. Turn it off. I crank her off. Whoops, probably should have not shut that all the way. Alright. Uh, hey, you can't always wet. I feel like this thing's probably out of gas. 
probably. You but, almost went. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing there. He didn't go. It was wanting it. Clouds are coming in. Hopefully we got some more snow coming. We need to cover up this little patch. All right, what's he got? I can't believe how loud the exhaust is, just the, the wind coming out of it. She's so hot. Just melting the plastic. We're gonna have a Jeep fire here in a minute. We're gonna have a Jeep fire. So you're back up. Might need a bigger push. Just throw her and park there for a sec, Jay. Can't believe how much this muffler is melting. Everything. Hopefully we don't have a fire. What do you got going on here? Your muffler, even though it's not attached, has completely melted the pumper. <laughs> Yeah, it broke off. To, unless it just broke off. Well, good thing we got the tractor to push you. It's 305, you gotta go. All right, I'll come push you with the tractor real quick. Oh, uh -huh. made it out himself. <laughs> You're not gonna make it too far though. <laughs> he almost made it. Let's push him on. I'll try not to hit his truck here. Where's he going? <laughs> and Jay's out here, another day's work complete. Let's see, we, let's uh, get the Saturn out of here. Hopefully the Jeep's not on fire. And uh, and probably the Nissan or the Ford Escape over there. We'll get rid of it. Let's do a quick look-see underneath here. Oh nah, she's fine. She's melted everything. All good. Don't see any fires, do we? Alright, let's lift her up. 
Looks like this one's gonna load no problem. Maybe, maybe not. I think the steering's locked. I'm gonna make the ramp. I'll just lift her up with the chain. That's the only problem with those ramps. They're good, but they're they kind of get in the way once in a while. Oh, I just gonna pull her out of here. I like it sitting in the tractor. It's nice and warm. <laughs> well, now we gotta jump. Yeah, stuck in park. Oh, is she gonna slide off there? Will it blend? She's gonna be close. I think it's good. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Golden. It's probably gonna hit that fender. Or the back's not gonna make it out. Or it'll go in perfectly, I don't know. I'm no pro. I just tell everyone I am. There's all this bird poo here. Anyone wanna go have some? Look at that, made it on. No problem. I was wrong the whole time. Guess I'll just sit in my heated cab and enjoy. In the water. Delicious full. Alright, I think we should load up that Ford Escape next. Or the Nissan. Looks so much better here already. The old convertible Ford Escape. There's a the roof right there. Let's get rid of it. I think we're due for another convertible. Once the snow melts, we'll make another one. Water. Perfect. The old six liter. Old six liter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Later, Saturn. All right. All right. If he wants to take the Saturn instead. We're just gonna push the old escape back and try to at least push it somewhere. <laughs> Sideways. Take her out of high. Perfect, good enough. Right, film and drive here. Just hit the hit the GMC. The big gouge in the blazer. Whoops. Gonna make it. Oh yeah, tons of room. Perfect. Lift her up and load her on. This is a pretty light car. Should just be able to back right underneath. Hopefully. Should be able to do a lot of things, but you know, usually a lot of things end up going wrong. <laughs> Everything sounds easy in your head until you do it. Uh. That is a fragile looking beat up trailer. She's got a few. She's got a lot of cancer, it looks like. You go back up right here. It's a pretty light car. That's for sure. Glad to be getting rid of it. Slider on! <laughs> oh yeah, good to go. Drop it like it's hot and get out of here. Whew! Another day, not dollar. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Didn't really have a plan for today. Just wanted to, you know, clean up a bit, get her going. So, looks like that's going to stay cold in the forecast, more snow, fingers crossed. We're headed up north this weekend to see Blaker. Uh, Blake Juris, you uh, probably remember him from all the King Boss Quad videos. He's got the big blue Polaris, so we're going to head up to Huntsville and go rip with him. I'm going to bring the shredder and then he's got his machine. And I don't know if he has a sled or not, but I'm going to figure something out. They have a lot of snow here. A couple of feet, I believe. 
So uh, yeah, just gonna get the saw now. Glad the ramp ramps painted. Thank you, Razor J, as always. And uh, see what else we can do this week. And then fingers crossed next week. Uh, I was waiting for a, a wire transfer, and now I'm waiting. They said they're gonna send a check. It's for the sleds, so I'm just waiting for that to come through. That's what uh, we're waiting for. So hopefully it gets here in the mail, and then I can just give it for the sled. We'll get out of here and start ripping. And it looks like we're going sled now west end of March for jumping season. I've never been there during jumping season, only during powder season. So, anyways, thank you guys. I'll stop blabbering on. Have a fantastic day. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And uh, stay dry out there. We'll see you later.